If you're planning to come to the Philippines or if you're already here, be ready to embrace the magic spell this country will cast upon you. Welcome to Bob's Rants. Hello, everybody. In today's podcast, we are going to unveil that one thing which happens to foreigners when they come to the Philippines. And you're about to find out right now. <laughs> Today we had to go through another episode of uh, Tampo, <laughs> <laughs> Filipino Tampo, which is uh, mm. uh, silent treatment, yeah. getting mad a little well, bit. Well, again, <laughs> there is time of the month, you know, so these are the things that you need to kind of understand, it, not just with Filipinas, but with women in general. Yeah. The mood swings, the... <sighs> the fluctuation, it's the hormones, man. We just get so hypersensitive over nothing, you know? Yeah, guys, make sure you have manuals to your women <laughs> to know how to fix stuff. <laughs> to me, like, the worst part is when it happens right before the podcast because doing a podcast, it's all about uh, the mood, the right mood, right? Yeah. So if somebody is mad, then yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so thank God I have a manual to... <laughs> This Filipina. Yeah, you have patience of a saint. That's yeah. what it is. By the way, guys, before we reveal the, the actual thing we want to talk about it, let's just remind you guys uh, the things which are not great about the Philippines, the things which many foreigners uh, complain yeah, that's uh, true. about the Philippines so that we would embrace the good part. Yeah, right and after. like we <laughs> would understand like wh out of all of that. Yeah, why like, still? Why still? One of the things uh, which uh, foreigners do not like uh, about the Philippines is everything being slow in here, uh, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, the things slow are just paced. are just not moving, uh, you know, with the right speed, and it can get frustrating. Yeah. Whether uh, I don't know people walking uh, in the streets, then you get uh, you know annoyed a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's too slow. The way things work out uh, in general in the Philippines, like you know, there are delays. Uh, everything mm -hmm. is just basically much slower and you need to have patience of a saint as you yeah said, that's it right yeah philippines always rely on this um hakuna matata vibe you know yeah. this very tropical jamaican laid back <laughs> whatever happens happens kind of like mindset plus you know employees here don't get much salary oh. so they they don't want to move mountains for customers all right yeah. like it's not gonna happen <laughs> another thing which is frustrating is uh traffic as an example so this is southeast asia uh 100 million population in philippines so obviously uh big cities like uh uh, Cebu, Manila, right. Davao, mm -hmm. yeah, Cagayan de Oro, like all of these big cities, basically, the traffic is insane. Yeah. And yeah, it's not something which uh, we like, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It's yeah. an island, you know, and there's just many, so many cars. And I feel like it's different mm -hmm. from the Western world because your roads are a lot bigger, mm -hmm. you know, and it's more wider. And so, like, everything is bigger in the West. I don't know if bigger <laughs> is better, all right? <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the performance <laughs> and the activities. Ooh, anyway, another thing which tickles our guns is uh, mm. uh, the noise pollution. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, people in general yeah. here are very loud. They're not really uh, paying attention to everybody else. So yeah. again, whether you, if you're in the streets, in a coffee shop, you can see that. Uh, Filipinos are just having a blast and they are uh, they are laughing loud, they are talking loud and they don't mind pretty much other people. In the same category we can speak about uh, uh, doing karaoke, right, at night, yeah. not minding your neighbors, mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Uh, roosters uh, surrounding you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. yeah. Another thing uh, about the Philippines is uh, we are located in the ring of fire. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, definitely, you might experience from time to time uh, earthquakes, uh, mm -hmm. very common in the Philippines. One good thing about it is that just because Philippines uh, is so uh, big, right, it's mm -hmm. basically an enormous country, uh, so many islands, even though earthquakes are happening uh, very often, but to hit the exact location where you are, uh, that can be basically a, a rare event. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, mean, I mean, just because it's so big, 
uh, to hit where you are exactly located. I mean, it, it, it's it, rare, but it, the same yeah. time devastating. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to soften that uh, that little problem, <laughs> but not under her watch. <laughs> Well, yeah, so yeah. Th this is something which mm -hmm. happens uh, often and, mm -hmm. yeah, you have to you have to live with it. Yeah, and uh, another thing is typhoons, right? Mm -hmm. Typhoons are also very common. It happens all the time uh, during the uh, monsoon season. Monsoon yeah? season, yeah. yeah. It's kind of winter season in, in the Philippines, but... Yeah, when it comes and if it uh, goes through, <laughs> through your location and if it's uh, category 5, you mm -hmm. better hide. <laughs> <laughs> you better start uh -huh. doing prepping your uh, bunkers, all right, guys? Yeah. yeah I mean, well, again, the good, the good the good thing about it is that most of the typhoons are not that powerful, uh, but once in a while, yeah, there are super typhoons. Now, knowing all the uh, cons about the mm. Philippines, nevertheless, nevertheless. Uh, when many foreigners are coming to the Philippines. And if they stay for, for a while, they just don't want to go. They don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're already pushing away all their plans before Philippines, you know, like the other travels that they're doing and even retiring in the Philippines. It's just this massive ship shift of wanting to stay here. And we will tell you why. We will tell you yeah. why this is and how how it's gone about and why do a lot of foreigners feel this way it is true i just remember mm -hmm. back in a day my first couple of years in the philippines mm -hmm. i would definitely interact with so many uh, foreigners uh, you know very common theme was uh, when i was asking hey uh, uh, like what are you doing in the philippines yeah, and, and, you uh, ask them. and uh, how long are you here all of them are saying well I'm here already three years. I'm here already five years. Yeah. I'm here for ten That's years. That's true. And they always say like, <laughs> I I was just here for a visit for only yeah. three months. And then eventually I'm here for about like ten months. <laughs> you know, so and that extension after extension. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly right. And that, that's what happened to me as well. My plan was to stay here about six months. Yeah. That was just my plan. Mm. I just wanted to visit a tropical uh, country. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was into that exploration. You were with uh, your phase. backpack, right? Yeah, <laughs> I came with just my backpack. No, no big plans. And yeah, extension after extension after extension. And this and was like 12 years ago. That was back in 2013. So it's like 11 uh, years, going yeah. into 11 years. I definitely experienced... Uh, this magic, magic spell, spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, majority of the foreigners are going for the same uh, for the same vibe so uh, yeah guys uh, if you're still abroad and you're planning to come to the philippines for for a little bit maybe like a couple of months or maybe a year expect to be charmed <laughs> yeah <laughs> expect to be charmed and to go through this spell and most likely you will not want to move back. But when you came here, I gotta ask, you didn't have a Filipina that you're seeing online. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the podcast, it's okay. I wasn't dating any Filipina. I just came here, I was single, I was not talking to any Filipina. Mm, so, so there, there yeah. was not that uh, reason, like a good enough reason for you to come to, you just kind of came here and yeah. explored on your own. So and you got hooked. Yeah, so that's mm. that's what I'm talking about. Even if you don't have a Filipina wife or mm. girlfriend, uh, right, or dating online, even if you just come as a tourist just to explore the Southeast Asian country, which I, that was my case. Yeah. So even with me, who had no attachments, I still stayed here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. glad, honey, because I wouldn't have met you. That's oh. for sure. <laughs> Look at us now. <laughs> Let's talk about why. Why? What made you stay in the Philippines? What's hmm. so different when you were in India? Because you were in India back then. Uh -huh. And the majority of the foreigners also have the same exact theme story. And the biggest, basically, thing why it happens to us is the attention. It's the people, right? Yeah. It's the it's the yeah. attention you get. It's yeah. the attention all foreigners get. So I believe that in the Philippines, like in no other country, you are just basically embraced with so much positive attention. 
everybody is addressing to you as sir if we talk about like stores like uh, things like that or boss uh, yeah at work it can be <laughs> boss everybody is looking at you and uh, being nice to you mm -hmm. you know what I mean and then also more attention from the ladies they realize oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I'm special <laughs> I did not get anything like this in my country. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because the, the culture is different, yeah. right? And I I hundred percent agree with that. You know, the biggest commodity in the Philippines for, oh. and that's why we're the biggest outsourcing company, right? Um, next to India, is the commodity is the people. They're not even faking it. It's literally when they see a foreigner, they just want to make sure that you are taken care of. You know, they want to represent their country as best as possible. That's why they kind of like overly wanting to, you know, um, nurture you here mm -hmm. and be friends with you. And again, most Filipinos, the personality is the laid back Hakuna Matata vibe. Yeah. And it's very like surfer dude vibe, you know. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and so like when, when they see foreigners here, they're like, come join Come join our humble abode, you know? Filipinos overall is, are very friendly and very nice people. Uh, yeah, so you just you just feel like so good in the Philippines. Yeah, you right. know, everywhere you, welcome. Yeah, everywhere you go, you just get this like nice vibe from people. They smile, they address to you mm. uh, in a very nice manner. For those people who have never been to the Philippines, Right, who's watching this podcast right now, they're probably wondering like, what makes the Philippine people very, very unique in mm. terms of the attention that you're trying to talk about. And yeah. I got to tell you, it's the energy, authenticness of like being happy when they see a foreigner, being charmed by a foreigner, being absolutely interested to see a foreigner, you know, like that you can't fake that you 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 that that resonates in such a great positive energy and it rubs off on a lot of foreigners and that's why they stay and that's yeah. why the attention is much better than when they when they feel this attention in like let's say other countries yeah. because of that authentic one to you know get to get to know a foreigner and to see them as like this big interesting being in the Philippines, <laughs> <Wow>. right? <laughs> it's like we're aliens. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Plus at the same time, uh, Filipinos can speak good English. So yes, if you compare to other Asian countries, like Korea, Japan, Thailand, uh, it's like already an edge, any, right? any mm -hmm. other Asian country. I mean, Filipinos are just amazing in mm -hmm. that aspect. Yeah. It's like the whole country speaks uh, English. And even if you go to remote places, uh, villages or, or stores like 7-Eleven, uh, everybody speaks English. So everybody. no problem. I guess for Westerners, this is just, you know... There's a relatability. A big, a big bonus. Yeah, that's right. Another reason why uh, foreigners might want to stay here permanently. The cheap cost of living. This is a big one too because I feel like this is you can build a house at such an affordable price rather than building your retirement home back in your home country. You know, the exchange is just too big uh -huh. for Westerners to actually have a good, comfortable living in the Philippines. So having that big conversion plus the people, I mean, uh -huh. Why would you want to go? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Why would you want to go in the hustle and bustle in New York or in UK or something like that if you can have a tropical, comfortable lifestyle here in the Philippines that's yeah. actually affordable? You know, mm. I mean, the condos here you can rent out. How much, honey? To be honest, if we talk about uh, big cities like Cebu and uh, Manila, especially Manila. If you want to buy a property in the actual cities and uh, like good locations, I wouldn't say it's, it's that cheap, especially lately, like the past five years, the prices went up. Uh, but if you want to build a house uh, like outside the city in the provinces, then definitely you will, uh, you will see the difference and uh, it is cheaper and you're going to enjoy basically the lifestyle in there for sure. And mm -hmm. overall, like everything else is obviously cheaper if we compare West and uh, Philippines. All right, guys. So uh, this has been it. Uh, let us know what you think about uh, this topic. Uh, 
are you the one who is already here in the Philippines mm-hmm. and you're staying for a long time because this magic spell happened to you as well? Uh, Or maybe you're still abroad and you're thinking to come to the Philippines. So if so, be prepared. (laughs) (laughs) Or if you're in the Philippines and you think we're absolutely bull, then let us know. (laughs) Yeah. Right? Because it's a case-to-case basis. But the thing is, you know, majority of the complainants are still in the Philippines. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, even though they, they're complaining, <laughs> they're still complaining from the Philippines. <laughs> so uh, you do like it. Uh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think there is also uh, one thing which I've noticed. If uh, foreigners are coming to the Philippines uh, with their already women, with foreign women, mm-hmm. right? Whether, whether they're coming ah, with wives no, or girlfriends, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, these couples who are coming to the Philippines... I think that they're not really staying here for for long. For I mean, long yeah, they do yeah, prefer to the, leave. The, that's the <laughs> yeah, that's the caveat right there. I mean, come on. I mean, it's <laughs> just... all about Filipinas <laughs> <laughs> at the same time. I mean, Filipinas yeah. just have this charm, you know, because mm-hmm. they're so warm and open. You know, oh. they're just like, "Good morning, sir. Mm-hmm. Good morning. You know, good afternoon." So they, that 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 attitude, that attitude mm-hmm. just rubs off on you. I mean, even for me as a Filipina, I'm just like. I was a foreigner. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that's a side note. Anyway. Yeah. This has been it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos or maybe, maybe not. not. Hit the subscribe button and watch our previous video and our existing videos on this channel. Or maybe not. It's up to you. It's your choice. You decide. decide. Peace, Peace and, and love. love. So, honey. <laughs> what? Let's get out of this country. <laughs>